Okay guys, so if you've been following along, you know that I've changed out the inner and outer tie rods and the control arms on the front of my 986 Boxster. And so today I'm gonna try to get the front end aligned just a little bit because eventually I wanna change out the control arms in the back. And at that point, then I'll take the car and get an alignment. But right now, if I pay to get an alignment on the front end, then in a few months, I'm gonna have to pay to get another alignment when I do the back end. So the first thing I did was I brought home four small pallets from work. I put two of the pallets behind the back tires and used some scrap lumber to build a little bit of a ramp, drove the car, the back of the car up onto the pallets. And since I'm not working on the back of the car, I placed the pallet so that the weight of the car is over the center board uh, for extra support. Now on the front of the car, I built I took the pallets and I cut a square of plywood, screwed it down to the pallet, put a piece of cardboard there, and then I jacked the front of the car up till it was high enough to slide the pallets underneath. And since I am working on the front of the car, you'll notice the tire is towards the outer or inner edge of the pallet there, and that gives me more working space underneath the car. And since it's not over a support board there, I shoved a couple of extra pieces of lumber underneath the pallet in case the pallet collapses. The car will only drop maybe a half an inch and not get damaged. I have that on both front tires. Now the cardboard is there so that as I make my adjustments, the tire can slide a little easier on the plywood. Next, I got some Mason's line and tied it to my toolbox there. And what you want to do is get as close to the center of the wheel as possible, which I'm a little bit high over here. Ran it over to a little scaffolding ladder, over to my regular ladder, and then back down this side to a paint bucket. And you want to try to get, like I said, as close to the center as possible. You want it to be even from front tire to back tire. You don't want the line to be touching the car whatsoever, but you do want it to be close, which back there it appears I'm touching. So I'm gonna go make an adjustment with my paint bucket and get it away. There we go. So now I'm not no longer touching this little uh, mud flap flare little piece there. Now you will wanna make sure that your steering wheel is as straight as it can be. And doing that, I turn the key to the on position so that I can move the wheel without it going into a lock because I've noticed when mine is in the lock, it's cocked just a little bit to the right. And the way I have found, the best way I have found to line the steering wheel up straight is do you see this black piece of trim back here? It goes to both sides. And then this line on the steering wheel itself is to adjust it until it looks even on both sides. At that point, I'll turn the key to the off position. I have to make sure that my string is straight. And you know, th this is not a perfect way to align a car, but this is gonna get me through, you know, a month or two until I buy the equipment for the rear of the car and go get a real alignment. So the best that you can probably do at this point Get a ruler and measure this. And that's looking like, try not to touch the string. And we're not touching the tire, we're measuring from the outer part of the wheel. The wheel is more solid, more even. And it looks like we've got about one and three eighths of an inch there. Over here. One and three eighths. Goodness. Go to the other back tire. And the one and three eighths. And I did try to adjust this off camera, so this is not just coincidental that it's falling in so nicely. Yep, one and three eighths. Then you'll go up to the front tire, front wheel. Line is moving just a little bit, but it looks like I've got one and an eighth here. 
And on this side, I have... Mm, I have less than an inch. So it's not quite three quarters. It's not quite seven eighths. So what would that be? Uh, 15, 14, 13 sixteenths. So obviously the outer part of this tire, the front part of this tire needs to come out a little bit. On the driver's side, I have again about 13 sixteenths. And over here, honestly, I think I've got closer to three quarters. So to actually adjust the tire, I'm gonna show you over here on the old tie rods. It's gonna to be too hard to film from under the car. So this is your outer tie rod. It is connected to the wheel carrier, the front edge of the wheel carrier by this ball joint. This is the inner tie rod. It's connected to the steering rack. It also has a ball joint and that's what allows it to spin while you're doing the adjustment. So the first thing you're gonna do is this nut has to be loosened. This is what locks them into their current position. I don't have a metric wrench that'll fit on this. It must be at least 20 millimeters. So I have a 13 16 and it fits really good. So you'll loosen that, wind it pretty far out of the way, depending on which way you're gonna be turning this, it, you don't want it to interfere. Then here on the inner tie rod is some flat areas where you can put a 13 millimeter wrench in and then you'll spin and either uh, tighten the tie rods together, which makes them shorter. And what that'll do is take the front edge of your tire and it'll pull it in if it needs to be. Or you can turn this the other way, lengthening, you know, like you're loosening or lengthening the tie rods. And that's gonna push the front edge of your tire out. Okay, and just to show you where you're gonna be working and why I can't be filming, I didn't get the car very high off the ground. If I got it higher, maybe twice as high, maybe I could film. But anyway, so there's the new control arm, both of them. And then, let's see, I'll come back a little bit. So this part right here is your tie rod I have already loosened. Loosened the nut. And so now I'm gonna grab with the wrench right here and I'm going to try to tighten this one making the, the tie rod shorter to bring the front edge of the tire in just a hair. Okay, so I've climbed in and out of the car twice and have turned that tie rod probably about one complete turn. Um, turned it a half a turn each time. And so right here, I'm just a hair shy of three quarters of an inch or above three quarters of an inch, I should say. And I would think right here is the same. So to me, this tire is as straight to that string as it can be. Now, one thing I have heard is that a lot of cars are aligned with the front tires slightly inset to each other. So the, the front edge of the tires are just ever so slightly in. And I don't know if that's good or bad, but uh, right now I'm gonna try getting them both just as even as possible. Okay, so I just learned something. Uh, my tires evidently are not sliding as easily on the cardboard as I thought they would, because I've made, especially on the other side, I've turned the tie rods a lot and I'm not getting a lot of um, adjustment from turning. So what I did is I came in here and I turned the ignition switch to on. I grabbed the wheel and I just went back and forth. Not a, not a big turn, but just a little back and forth several times. Re-leveled or straightened the wheel, turned the switch to off and came back and measured. And this particular tire 
was looked like it was dead on and now it's just a kicked out just a hair but the other side is actually kicked out now um almost an eighth of an inch so i'm gonna get back under and try to pull those both in a little bit so i guess lesson learned is make one or two adjustments and then turn the wheel a little bit and see how much adjustment you actually made. Okay, so right now it looks really, really good, but I'm gonna go ahead like I did before, make these tires move just a little. Try to re-level the wheel. And this should key off. And now let's measure them again here. Seven eighths. Looks like it could actually go in a little more still. Check the other side. Did on seven eighths. Fifteen sixteenths there. So, yep, just a hair more to the inside should do it. All right, well, it's taken probably six or eight times crawling in and out from under the car um, and constantly uh, shaking the wheel and realigning it. But um, I finally got it. I will say, stupid on my part, um, got confused with the whole trying to make this gap shorter and I kept tightening the tie rod and I'm like, this is crazy. And then it dawned on me, oh no, you're an idiot because you need to be lengthening the tie rod to make the gap shorter, not tightening it, which would make the gap wider. But anyway, got all that done. It seems to be pretty well aligned now. Both sides seem to be dead on. Or like I said before, honestly, I have the front edges of the tires just slightly, I mean, just a half a hair turned to the inside right now. And this is all, of course, assuming that this string is perfectly parallel to the side of the car. I know it's really not, but um, anyway, so that is probably as close as I'm ever gonna be able to get it. I'm gonna slide back under the car and tighten down those two nuts and lock it into place and then take it for a test drive. The car is tracking straight. It's very nice. I don't feel the tires fighting each other like I did earlier. Oh yeah, that's smooth around the curves now. Not wiggly like it was. Yeah, I think this was a success. The alignment turned out better than I ever expected. Just around town, from here to work and back, it's better, the car is driving better than it ever has before. I will say this past weekend, we took a road trip out to Lake Hartwell, just over in South Carolina, and on the expressway, up over 80 miles an hour, the car is pulling slightly to the left, and there's a little bit of shakiness in the steering wheel. So at some point, it does need a real alignment. Now, I will say that the shakiness in the steering wheel may be caused by all the old suspension parts in the back of the car. You see, everything I've done to the car, every suspension part I have changed, has made the car feel better, but then I start noticing something new, and which makes sense, because if I put a stiffer new part in amongst a lot of old parts, the stiffer part is gonna really enhance the instability of the older parts. So right now, everything in the front end of this car, every suspension part has been changed out to brand new. The only thing in the back that I have done is the shocks. So pretty soon I will purchase the stuff for the back of the car. I'll take care of that. I'll go get a full four wheel alignment and hopefully then it'll drive as close to a new car as it possibly can. If I ever have to do it again, I will buy all the parts at one time and take a week or two to work on it, get everything changed out at once, go get the alignment and uh, be done with it. Um, now that I know what I'm doing. But anyway, I hope this video helps you um, and I really appreciate you guys watching. 
Thanks a lot.